Hi, I'm Randy Alvarenga, and I play Lothair Vanlinson, and this is what you missed in Season 2, Episode 29 of Edge of Legend. When the party walk into New Jack City, they are quickly taken with the massive architecture that makes up this hidden metropolis. They stumble upon a large statue of a man named Rudolf J. Emmerich, with a looming structure similarly named Emmerich Industries towering behind it. Alona stops a stranger on the street to ask about the clearly important figure and runs into none other than the gremlin mechanic of the Night Witches herself, Trixie. Trixie gives the party the lowdown that Rudolf J. Emmerich was one of the founders of New Jack City, and he, along with the Stokes and a few others, created all the mech that keeps the city running and protect it. She also informs the party that the city is run by the Bureau of Arcanological Investigation, or BAI, who keep the city magic free as well as govern it as elected officials. Through this conversation, the party become fond of Trixie. She invites them to meet up with some of the night witches for a drink after the adventurers have settled at their accommodations. Dragon flashes the bullet camouflage gave him as a free round token, and Trixie immediately becomes enamored with the group. You see, Camouflage is an urban legend around the city. The party agreed to use this at the Pink Lady where they will be meeting for drinks later and they part ways. When the party arrive at the swanky hotel Chionibus secured, they immediately become wary, seeing a suspiciously frazzled catfolk with a small snake being helped at the counter. The catfolk stares at our party, paranoid, and explains she's from the Order of the Compass Rose there on investigations. As she explains this to the rest of the group, Lothir notices the snake tonguing the air in Alona's direction. When questioned, the snake named Amaris mentions Alona has something from their former mistress and holds the final relic of their god. Confused and slightly disturbed, Lothir makes an excuse to get the party away to their rooms promptly and they leave. As our heroes head to their rooms, they enter into an elevator with the bellhop. When all of a sudden, the ride stops and the bellhop reveals himself to be a BAI agent. He knows the party has magic users, but doesn't quite care as long as they aid the Bureau in their investigations. You see, the party has two options. One, to break into the BAI headquarters itself and to grab some hidden files on camouflage that may be hidden from the rest of the organization for nefarious reasons. Or two, to break into the basement of Emmerich Industries and to collect information about the company's inner workings. With the two options presented, the party is released into their penthouse suite and they're left to get dressed for their evening ahead. After the party clean up from the trenches and don more city appropriate attire provided by the Bureau, they go out on the town. When they arrive at the Pink Lady, Chionibus sees an unexpected familiar face. Felix Chance greets her with that grin she knows all too well, and after exchanging pleasantries, he informs her of a group of assassins dubbed the Reckoners who have been sent by the Green King to assassinate the party and prevent them from interfering with the Ninth Circle prophecy. The killers are currently in New Jack City looking for them, and with that, he disappears. The party meet the Night Witches in the tavern and quickly become fast friends. Chionibus is approached at the bar by a beautiful, commanding woman, but fearing the assassins, she's a bit wary, until the woman introduces herself as Samantha Stokes, who is an heiress to the Stokes family business. She invites Chionibus and the rest of the party to her family's lab, where they are experimenting with a prototype gun blade. This immediately sparks Dragon's interest, and they make plans to do just that, before departing to a different bar with the Night Witches, braving the dark night of New Jack City, knowing there are hired killers on their trail. And that's what you need to know from Season 2, Episode 29 of Edge of Legend. Make sure to tune in Wednesdays 8pm PST to Nat20 Productions' official channel on Twitch, to catch the newest episodes of Edge of Legend as they happen. We look forward to seeing you in chat as you become legends right alongside us. Thanks for watching.